Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news. I'm Shogh Mohammed. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a verbal message to the President of the Arab Republic of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al Sisi, on ways of bolstering the growing, outstanding historic relations between the two brotherly countries and peoples. In the message, His Majesty the King took pride in the progress of bilateral ties at multiple levels and touched on regional challenges and how to surmount them, appreciating the vital role of Egypt to consolidate peace and security in the region. He also lauded Egypt's efforts to fight terrorism and to ward off external interference in the internal affairs of the Arab states. The verbal message was conveyed by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, as he was received by the Egyptian president, who welcomed him and entrusted him with conveying his sincere greetings and best wishes to His Majesty the King. President Sisi appreciated Bahrain's supportive stances towards Egypt at all circumstances, which reflects the depth of bilateral relations. The minister affirmed that the bilateral relations are based on a long-standing history of strategic partnership, constructive cooperation and joint action in all fields. He remarked that continued interaction, consultation and coordination in regards to regional and global issues are distinctive features of bilateral ties and reflect both countries' keenness to protect the interests of the region, appreciating Egypt's supportive positions towards Bahrain's security and stability. The Minister of Foreign Affairs commended the positive results of the recent visit of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister and Minister of Defence of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman to Egypt, which reflects the close relations between the two brotherly countries. He said the visit pours into the consolidation of the Arab national security and reinforces peace and security across the world. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa, received at Qadaybiyah Palace today the Director General of the International Organization of Migration, the IOM, William Lacey Swing. During the meeting, His Royal Highness emphasized that Bahrain, under the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa, continues to strengthen cooperation with a range of United Nations bodies, including the IOM, in order to achieve its development goals. His Royal Highness noted that the modernization of Bahrain's legislative and legal systems, achieved through the vision and directives of His Majesty the King, has made an important contribution to the Kingdom's sustainable development and aligned Bahrain with international best practices. His Royal Highness welcomed the Director General to the Kingdom, praising the IOM's efforts to prevent exploitation and people trafficking and protect displaced persons and migrants fleeing conflict. His Royal Highness further expressed Bahrain's support of the important work of the IOM and its active role in the preservation of human dignity. He highlighted that Bahrain has successfully implemented a comprehensive program of legislation designed to safeguard the rights of the kingdom's expatriate population. In this regard, His Royal Highness emphasized that Bahrain's labor market reform project, launched in accordance with His Majesty King Hamad's vision for comprehensive development, has achieved international recognition as a model example of effective labor reform. His Royal Highness went on to thank the Director General for visiting Bahrain and emphasize the importance of deepening cooperation and coordination between Bahrain and the IOM. For his part, the Director General of the IOM outlined the organization's international and regional efforts to protect migrants and combat exploitation and people trafficking. The Director General expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and stressed his appreciation for the support His Royal Highness and various Bahraini organizations have provided to the IOM and its associated initiatives. The Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa, the Labour and Social Development Minister, Jamil Ahmedan, and a number of senior officials also attended the meeting. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronized the fifth Mini Olympics held at Bahrain Volleyball Association Hall in the presence of the Assistant Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Secretary General of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdurrahman Sadiq Askar, a number of senior managers and officials at the Olympic Committee and the Ministry of Education, as well as a number of affiliates from the participating schools. The ceremony began with the national anthem, followed by verses from the Holy Quran. Then the Secretary General of the Bahrain Olympic Committee delivered a speech in which he welcomed His Highness Sheikh Nasr, affirming that the Mini Olympics embodies the Bahrain Olympic Committee's keenness on implementing its strategy that is aimed at promoting sports in the local community. He noted that the current edition witnesses the participation of 57 schools, represented by over 3,500 students. A series of artistic performances have been conducted by a group of students during the ceremony. His Highness Sheikh Nasser lighted the Mini Olympics torch, announcing the opening of its fifth edition.
the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Honorary President of the BMMAF, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed pride in hosting the 5th and 6th edition of the International Amateur Mixed Martial Arts Championship following the Kingdom's success in hosting and organizing the 4th edition and the Brave International Combat Week. His Highness affirmed that it reflects the international recognition of Bahrain's capability in hosting major sports events. His Highness added that hosting the 5th and 6th edition of the championship affirms the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to implement the directives of the wise leadership to make Bahrain a leading destination to host sports championships and events. His Highness noted that his support of Bahraini youth and combat sports, particularly mixed martial arts, reinforces the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser. His Highness added that Bahrain is the first Asian country to host the championship for three consecutive years after the United States. The Bahrain Defense Force Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa attended today the graduation ceremony of an advanced officer's recruitment courses at the Royal Defense Force Training Center with the participation of a number of officers from the National Guard, as well as officers from Kuwait. Upon arrival, the BDF Commander-in-Chief was received by the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed al Jalahma, the Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar al naimi and senior BDF officers. The Commandant of the Royal Defence Force Training Centre, Major General Jabir Abdallah bin Huayl, delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to the BDF Commander-in-Chief for patronising the graduation ceremony and supporting the centre. Then the BDF Commander-in-Chief presented the graduates and top achievers with their certificates and prizes of appreciation, congratulating them on successfully completing the session. He pointed out the importance of such courses for the graduates to assume all duties that will be assigned to them throughout their future military career. He gave them his directives and urged them to continue benefiting from BDF, specialized training programs. He also hailed the participation of the officers from Kuwait in the session, stressing its role in bolstering military cooperation. The BDF commander-in-chief affirmed the BDF's keenness to improve the level of its personnel by providing them with the best military training. He wished the BDF more development under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa.
of the UNESCO King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize for the use of information and communication technologies in education, the UNESCO organized a scientific synopsium in which the two winners of the award gave a presentation about the winning projects. Experts and specialists from several countries also took part in the synopsium. The Ministry of Education presented its experience in the field of digital empowerment. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al-Aimi, expressed thanks and appreciation to the United Nations for launching this grand prize, which meets the goals of the UNESCO in spreading the use of information and communication technology in the field of education on the global level. He affirmed that the kingdom has surpassed the phase of spreading electronic education throughout the kingdom's schools and is now working through the Digital Empowerment Project on consolidating the use of information and telecommunication technology to achieve quality education. The principal at Al-Uruba Middle School Elementary for Girls, Amna Lislaita, gave a presentation about the Digital Empowerment and Education Project, which is part of the King Hamad Future Schools Project, inaugurated by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Al Hidayah Al Khalifiya in 2005. The project was expanded to include all of the schools of the kingdom by 2009. Morocco gave a presentation about its national program for the dissemination of information and communication for education project, which, while India gave a presentation about the Distance Education Initiative project, which aims to improve ICT services to improve the opportunities of students in poor communities to access secondary and higher education in India. The challenges facing e-learning, the transformation in educational fields, the financing of technology and the training of teachers and parents were discussed during the symposium as the success of e-learning requires interlinkage between schools, ministries and families. The Minister of Information Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, Ali bin Mohammed al ramehi patronized and inaugurated the Faces of from Bahrain Art Gallery, organized by National Geographic and held at the Avenue's Mall Courtyard in Menoma, in the presence of senior officials, ambassadors, media personnel and sponsoring companies. The Minister affirmed that the Kingdom is pioneering and is distinguished by its cultural values, tolerance and cultural openness. He expressed appreciation for National Geographic's organization of the gallery and for posting the pictures in a book documenting Bahrain's ancient history. The minister expressed admiration for the pictures of Bahrain's heritage, affirming the government's appreciation for the contributions of global organizations and the private sector in touristically promoting the kingdom. The press conference to announce Bahrain's hosting of the 5th and 6th edition of the Amateur MMA World Championships for 2018 and 19 was held yesterday, which will be organized by the Bahrain MMA Federation, the BMMAF, in cooperation with the media office of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad and supervised by the International MMA Federation, the IMMAF. The press conference was attended by members of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Bessie Abdurrahman, head of the media office of His Highness Sheikh Khalid Amr Abdul Aziz Bukamal, members of the BMMAF, athletes and MMA enthusiasts, and representatives of Bahraini, Arab and foreign media. The press conference also included a promotional film on hosting the championship and the steps taken to organize the fourth edition of the championship and future championships. It's an honour to uh, be back in Bahrain to discuss, uh, to make sure that we extend uh, the delivery of the events, not only for 218 and also for 219. Uh, and really, we, we want to make sure that when the athletes get here and the coaches and the presidents uh, will have equal, the same experience, and if not a better experience. It's also part of the, the combat week to also negotiate with Brave. Uh, so we're with uh, Mohammed Shahid to make sure that uh, you know we have the same experience as we did the cultural values that it brings in the combat week. It's the uh, the starting point again for you know the next uh, six months to come uh, that uh, we will deliver the World Championships in 2018 at the highest level in, in order to make sure that the rest of the world uh, will be watching uh, what we do in mixed martial arts, in amateur mixed martial arts. 2018 is going to be bigger and I, and I always say when it comes to competition you're always going to see higher level every time you see uh, you, you go for a new competition every year. So we're going to see a bigger level, bigger crowd, bigger, more nations come to compete. Uh, so to have 
brave combat uh, international week and IMMA have signed for the World Championship for the next two years, 2018 and 2019. This, what this really means to Bahrain is that Bahrain becomes a hub of mixed martial arts in the whole world. It's, I have no words for uh, the support His Highness Sheikh Khalid has uh, given to the sport of mixed martial art. Uh, and I always say uh, one of the biggest examples of uh, what the sport can do is myself and Hamza Kohiji. Uh, as being an ex-fighter, whether we didn't have any support in Bahrain, here we are uh, today seeing the best of the best fighters come and compete against each other in Bahrain.